work as content coordinator at a social change agency called Change for Balance. And so I'm editing videos and doing a lot of copywriting for different clients in the social good space. And I also run a YouTube channel called The Booktuber, where I interview authors and share my love of queer books. And I've been doing that for 10 years now. One of the things I really love about um, creating videos and being in front of the camera is getting inside the heads of the people I'm working with and talking to. And I've had the opportunity over the last 10 years to uh, sit down with some of my favorite authors like Rick Riordan, Marie Lu, David Levithan, and most recently Stephen Schwosky, who wrote one of my favorite books of all time, The Perks of Being a Wallflower, and his follow up, Imaginary Friend. And so I think a real like what is happening right now moment for me was when Stephen Chbosky was at my apartment in LA and just sat down and talked to me for 90 minutes about his writing process and his directing process and he was just so present and curious about me and it really inspired me to you know stay that way. It's really important to me to have hobbies you know when you're pursuing creative life and also trying to make money, it's hard not to be working all the time. And so you have to have things in your life that aren't, uh, you know, end goal is monetary gain, basically. So a few years ago, I started running. And last year, I ran my first half marathon. And running for me has just like, saved my mental health in every single way. It's like a good alone time. I'm thinking and meditating while I'm running and listening to music. So that's that's my happy place. My major at Columbia was uh, film, cinema, art, and science. And I did the BA. And I didn't end up doing an official minor, but I took many theater classes and was a part of many productions in the, the theater building. So I was constantly walking from 1104 to 72 East 11th Street. <laughs> One of those things that people tell you at Columbia all the time where it becomes cliche is that you get out of it what you put in. And that became really true for me because you actually can get a lot out of it, but you do have to invest a lot of your energy and creativity into it, as you know. And that also stays true in life. So I think Columbia prepared me by not handing things to me really and like forcing me to ask hard questions and um, yeah, be an entrepreneur. I mean, I feel like they really encourage that. And especially having moved to LA and meeting people from basically all the other film schools you can think of, there really is something special about Columbia grads that they, they have that understanding um, that it has to come from you. My advice to current students is to be really annoying, like send so many emails and uh, introduce yourself to so many people and just be that person that people can't stop hearing about or seeing or like bumping into at events. It's hard, it's it, like I am such an introvert and this is something I had to train myself to do, but if you can develop the skill to place yourself in a community and into other people's lives, they will pay attention and they will think of you.